Times were changing at the Metropole Hotel. The new owner wanted to add at least one star to the scanty three-star rating that the hotel currently enjoyed. Max was the porter at the entrance of the garage. He was one of the most popular members of the staff. He just had a way with people. The new owner came over to Max one day and said, Max, I want you to carry on here with your job just like before. We love you here. But one small change. Whenever someone goes in or comes out, I want you to write it down in this book. Okay? Max said, I- I'm so sorry. I can't write. You can't write, Max? No, I- I'm really sorry. Does it make much of a difference? Well, Max, I'm, af- I'm afraid it does. The-, the insurance company won't insure us without it. Max looked very crestfallen. I'm so sorry, Max, but I can't keep you on here anymore if you can't write. And so after years at the Metropole, Max went back to his small flat, dejected and depressed. He lay in bed for a week or more, unable to escape his depression. A note from the post office dropped through his letterbox. He needed to go to the big city to pick up a registered letter. As he was leaving, his neighbour asked him where he was going. When he heard he was going up to the city, he said, Max, could you pick up some bits and pieces for me from the hardware store? I'll pay you a bit. It'll save me the journey. Sure, said Max. Max went up to the city, picked up his registered letter, which turned out to be a 50-cent fine for a late return on a library book, and he also picked up the supplies for his neighbour and went back home and back to bed. The following week, his neighbour knocked on his door and said, Max, are you going up to the city this week? Max said he hadn't planned it, but he didn't mind going for him. The neighbour said, great, I'll give you something for your trouble. This time, a friend of the neighbour also wanted him to bring some vegetables from the city. So Max did that errand too, and within a couple of months, the word got around about Max, and he was making a bi-weekly and sometimes tri-weekly trip to the city. He had a new job. One day, he thought to himself, you know, rather than schlepping to the city three times a week, why don't I just buy a whole bunch of stuff and set up my own shop here? Max's emporium took off like a rocket. Ten years later, he was one of the most important citizens in the town. One day they had a reception at the Metropole Hotel for the state governor, and of course Max was invited. The owner of the hotel didn't recognise the Max that he'd fired all those years ago. As a distinguished guest, the owner of the Metropole invited Max to sign the guest register. Max said, you don't recognise me. I'm Max, the porter you fired. I can't write. The owner of the hotel said, Max, Mr. Max, I'm so sorry. Max said, I'm not. If I could write, I'd still be sitting down there in the garage checking cars in and out. Everything Hashem does is for the good. Just sometimes it's very difficult to see it. We're living in a time when it's very, very difficult to see that everything Hashem is doing for the Jewish people is leading to a day of great light But everything Hashem does is to test our faith. We hope and we pray that very soon we will see with our own eyes how all the pain and sorrow has led to the greatest joy.